Hey guys, it's Deeds. Welcome back to Mercy's Journal. If you're new here, hello. I'm Deeds and I like to Bible journal. I also like to creatively experiment <laughs> and try to encourage people to try and experiment new things. And today is something that I've done a few times, but I wanted to work with these stamps and these distress oxides to produce journaling cards. This is what I call mass production of journaling cards. And what I do is I just take this humongous sheet of art watercolor paper and and I scribble on it, I stamp on it, I color it up, eventually to cut it up and then turn into individual journaling cards, things that I can slip into my own Bible, into a loved Bible for somebody else, or as an encouragement card for somebody going through a hard time or somebody who needs a little bit of a good word. All supplies will be listed below, but just as a quick reference, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm using a few colors of Distress Oxides called Ripe Persimmon, Wild Honey, and Mustard Seed, along with another one that I'll bring in later in the video. And then the stamp set that I'm using is called Life and Lemons by Sweet and Sassy Stamps. This technique is called the snooshing technique, <laughs> and it covers a lot of ground fairly quickly, and I like it for that reason. Distress oxides are so much fun. I love how versatile they are. I mean, I'm smooshing with them right now, but later I'm gonna be stamping and painting with them <laughs> as I add color and layers to my project here today. I don't think I've ever regretted using Distress Oxides ever, <laughs> not even in my Bible. Although I will say that with Distress Oxides in your Bible, you want to make sure to prep the page if you don't want any bleed through of the color because they are really heavy pigmented. So just that's just something to be aware of. The Life and Lemon stamp set is created by Rebecca Rios and I love it. I could be biased when I say that, <laughs> but I also feel like the sentiments and the idea behind the stamp set and why it was created is wonderful, especially for today. It is completely applicable. It is relevant. If you know someone who is struggling, which we all do, or if you are someone who is struggling, which most of the time we are with something, then this is the type of thing that you can put on a reminder card or an encouragement card or a journaling card of any kind as a memento and as a reminder that, hey, life is hard and life does toss at us these very sour times, these very harsh moments, these times of suffering, of struggling, of loss, of disease, divorce, you name it. And yet, God encourages us to be strong and count it all joy when we fall into various trials, knowing that there is safely a testing of our faith to grow us and to minister to us into our souls so that we may become more like Jesus, so that we become salt and light to a world who is also suffering and in darkness and don't even know it. I'm starting to see texture develop and I'm starting to see backgrounds form and at this point now I'm just adding a little bit here and there as far as stamps and additional color. I know that when I cut these up into about 12 pieces they'll all be different and that's what I love about these. They're not any of them going to be the same. So this is the part of the journey of this process that I really really enjoy because this is leading into where I start to think about the sentiments that I'm going to put on the cards. I forgot what life was like without this paper trimmer cutter. <laughs> I can't believe how much easier this process is with a tool like this. It made it so easy for me to cut, especially with thick watercolor paper. Some of you have taken on this whole mass production of journaling cards thing and I just want to say that is awesome. <laughs> and I've seen some of you posting these things online and I have actually received a couple of these encouragement cards myself and I just want to say you bless me, you bless me, you bless me. Thank you so much for just letting me be a part of your own creativity as I have been a part of yours. I'm going to be edging these with these little corner edgers and I'll link those below because those are also something that makes this process really, really nice. I don't actually enjoy trying to eyeball this type of thing. So the edgers have helped tremendously in just making these look a little bit more professional looking. And then these serve as softer edges when you put things in your Bible or when you hand them to a friend. It just looks a little bit neater and cleaner. This first card is going to say, when life gives you lemons, make awesome lemonade. At first I had difficulty making this particular card because I used to think that this was a very trivial and almost too lighthearted of a thing to say to somebody who's going through a rough time. However, 
I've looked up scripture and I have been studying recently the book of Job and things that stand out in Job have largely to do with bad things happening to you and turning them to make them productive, using what God allows in your life to then have its fruitful work to test you and refine you. And there are biblical references to back that up. Very quickly, I want to mention that I'm doing some masking with this lemon stamp. And if you do not know what masking is, basically you stamp an image on a piece of paper. You cut out that image and just so you can stamp around it and not through it and see images in front and behind it, you place that piece of paper that you've cut out on top of an image that you've stamped and then you stamp around that and you get this sense of dimension that there are multiple lemons developing on this card. Just so you know, the references that I'm going to be using for each of these cards will be put down below and linked to a Bible online somehow. What I'll do is I'll write out the sentiment and then I will give references as to verses that could back up this particular sentiment. Just to save on time and to give you guys additional study, maybe you guys will take these and look them up. Perhaps you'll make some of these of your own and use these references. And if you do, please let me know. I would love to know if this has impacted you or influenced you or helped you and encouraged you in any way. So something crafty that I've never tried is just cutting out an image from the texture paper and then putting it on an encouragement card. So I've taken a piece that I've cut, stamped down the bottle image with the ice cubes on the inside, and I'm gonna cut this out, put it on the encouragement card, and that will just add a little bit more craftiness to it. <laughs> It'll add a little bit more dimension and color and just some interest. That's something that I've never done, and so I decided to try that one today. Now I'm developing sentiments on the cards and I want things to make sense and be fun, but I also want things to be very biblical based. I want things to come directly from scripture so that when I hand these things over, not only will they be encouragement to uplift somebody, but then there will be these passages of scripture that they'll be able to refer back to, things that they'll be able to look at and trust in God's word even further. This next card is simply gonna say, thank God y'all, and you really do have to say it like that. Thank God y'all, because <laughs> there is no messing around when it comes to a Southerner and her sweet tea. Can I just say, <laughs> down in Savannah, Georgia this last April, I had the pleasure of going to a creative retreat. And no joke, sweet tea is the drink. It is coming to you in gallons. It is served to you as though it were water. And as long as you have sweet tea, you are part of the folk, y'all. But the biggest thing about that one is just being thankful because even when times are tough and even when things go awry, when they are less organized or seemingly out of control, just know that you can thank God because first of all, he is in control. And secondly, you can trust this God who is working everything for your good and for his glory. There are so many scriptures that back up the essence of God's glory and his being for himself and also for our good, for our future, to have a hope in this life for the afterworld and even now. When life gives you lemons, just add sugar. That's the next sentiment that's going on this card. The reason why I'm using this is because it's supposed to be an encouragement to still be the sweet aroma of Christ even amidst your trying circumstances. I understand how hard things can be and you don't want to be kind and you don't want to be patient and you don't want to have the fruit of the Spirit residing in you emulating from you. You don't want to be radiant with sweetness when things are so sour and bitter, but we are commissioned, we are to be that sweet aroma of Christ to the world. And when we go through hard times and we're able to praise God through the hard times, that's when it shows the world there is something different. There's something unique about her or him. They praise in the middle of their panic they pray and they admire and they desire God and they lift him up even in the middle of this really, really hard time. And that's something that is very unique. It's something that you probably will most likely find only in somebody who is walking with the Lord steadily through their trying circumstance. So that's why I decided to use this sentiment to encourage and exhort somebody who is going through a hard time. Hey, 
keep on keeping on. Maintain that sweet attitude. Be that sweet aroma of Christ. Quick on the heels of that one then would be count it all joy, (laughs) y'all. Because I couldn't resist using that y'all stamp. I love it. But I'm sure that we've heard the phrase count all joy. It's in a couple of places in scripture. James is one of them and he's speaking of the testing of our faith. We belong to a God of wonders. He's our daddy. We have a father and we can trust him and lean into him and come closer to him, especially during these hard times. I'm praying that this is the encouragement to do that. If you are struggling and if you're going through some really tough stuff, I want to encourage you with this. Hopefully you will share it. Hopefully you will glorify God with it. Make lemonade, add sugar, and then thank God, (laughs) y'all. Much love. God bless.